YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com in collaboration with ModMy.com. We are checking out OS X El Capitan. So, I guess they're throwing out a little sp Espanol, maybe. Uh, I'm not I'm not really sure. May uh, it's Mexican. I don't, I, I don't know. I'm not very good with all these other languages. And it says this will be available this fall. So let's take a look around and see what it is that it's going to be available on our Mac. Just so you know, I did sort of peek ahead and we're going to have split view, guys. It's going to be awesome. This is going to be just something that's going to be about like what's coming on the iPad as well. Now we're going to have it available here on the Mac. It says, who says you can't focus on two things at once? Running a lot of apps at the same time is one great thing about using a Mac. Focusing on just one app in full screen view is another. Well, split view, it says you get the best of both worlds. You automatically fill your screen with two apps you choose. So you can make dinner plans with a friend and messages while finding a restaurant in maps. Pretty awesome, huh? That's what it's going to look like right there. Mission control is going to be different. That says it's a streamlined mission control, which makes it easier to see and organize everything you have open on your Mac. With a single swipe, all the windows on your desktop arrange themselves in a single layer with nothing stacked on top of each other, uh, nothing hidden. Mission control places your windows in the same relative location so you can spot the one you're looking for very quickly. And when you have lots of windows competing for real estate, it says it's even simpler to make more room for them. So just drag any window to the top of the screen and drop it into a new desktop space. It's never been this easy to spread out your work. Call out your cursor. If you've lost your cursor on a crowded desktop, and I know I do that on a daily basis, just shake your finger back and forth on the trackpad or give your mouse a little shake and your cursor will actually grow bigger or larger so it's easier to spot. Very, very cool feature that is. Spotlight is more versatile than before. It's smarter. It delivers results for weather, sports, stocks, web videos, transit information. And now you can ask Spotlight to find a file using natural language. So while you so when you're looking for something, just type the way you'd say it. Spotlight's also more flexible. You can resize its window to see more results and move it anywhere on the desktop. <laughs> Search results are from more sources. It says Spotlight now searches even more places to give you more useful results. Check out stock prices, so on. And you can even type in your own words like we just said. It said the mail app says, look what just landed in your inbox. Improve full screen support, swipe gestures in mail, let you make quick, quick work of correspondence. OSX, OSX even helps you manage your calendar and keep your contacts up to date right from your inbox. <clears throat> it says you can add suggested events. When you receive an, e an email containing details for an event like a flight or a dinner reservation or even a suggestion like let's have drinks at five, you can add it to your calendar just with a click. Add suggested contacts. When you exchange email with people who are not in your contacts, mail lets you add them with a single click. Swipe to manage your inbox. Swipe right to mark an email as read or unread or swipe left to delete. You'll be focused on what's important in no time. Your notes app lets you collect more than just your thoughts. It's very powerful. It's a great way to jot down a quick thought or track what's happening. Now you can turn a list into a checklist in a snap. Here again, this is something that's similar to what's going on <coughs> in iOS 9 that we talked about earlier. Thanks to iCloud, all your notes are going to be synced up across all your devices, which is awesome. Save content from other apps. If you're planning a trip, a hotel website to a note, 
right from Safari or an address from Maps. You can save not content to notes from other apps as well. Just click the share button to save items to existing notes or even create new ones. It says you can use the attachments browser to see everything in one place. Your notes on all your devices. Remarkable. The photos out, more things to do, places to go, and people to see. Give your photos a more personal touch with third party editing tools. We've needed these for quite some time, guy. Enhanced organization, faster performance, and the photo app gets even better. That, that editing part is something that we definitely, definitely needed. The Safari browser is a smart way to surf with no tools built in with OS X El Capitan. The best browser for your Mac brings new tools for better surfing. Now Safari lets you keep favorite websites open and accessible with pinned sites. You can quickly mute audio without hunting for the tab it's coming from and use AirPlay to stream video from a web page to your HD TV. Pretty, pretty awesome. Maps now arriving. Public transit information. This is awesome for you guys that live in bigger cities where this is going to be available. It says if you get if you get around by train or bus, you can now get more easily in select cities around the world thanks to maps. You'll find everything you need to go from point A to B, including built-in public transportation directions and schedules. Pretty, pretty awesome, guys. The Mac becomes even more fluent. New system fonts and improved input methods make Chinese and Japanese check text more beautiful to read and easier to write on a Mac. So now Chinese users and Japanese users can now use the keyboard to use the Mac. The Mac says it can be nimble. We've made all kinds of things run faster. Accessing mail, launching, switching between apps. It's these little things that makes the app Mac feel faster and more responsive. And we've brought metal to Mac so you're even more fluid performance in games, high performance apps, and key system level graphics. 10 times the draw call performance. Pushing pixels to the metal. Metal's a new graphics score technology that gives games and apps near direct access to the graphics processor on your Mac. Across the board performance, now things you do every day up to 1.4 times faster app launch, two times faster app switching, two times faster display or first mail messages, and four times faster PDF opening and preview. Help make OS 10 El Capitan even better. The Apple beta software program gives you a sneak peek before it launches this fall. By participating in this, you'll be able to you'll be able to try pre-release versions OS 10 and let them know what you think. Swift 2, now everyone can build amazing apps. Swift is an amazing programming language with modern features that produces safe, lightning fast applications for OS X, iOS, and watchOS. Its enthusiastic adoption by developers has meant more and better apps for you on any Apple device you use. Apple too builds on the incredible popularity of power of Swift, delivering features that help developers write even better code, including advanced error handling, availability checking, and lots of enhancements to syntax. And Swift will reach an even larger audience later this year when Apple makes it available as an open source project a great app story just got better. Guys, if you aren't a subscriber and want to stay up to date on all this type of stuff, hit that subscribe button before you go. We'll keep you posted on everything going on Apple related, jailbreak related, City of Tweaks weekly, and keep coming back.